Hello everybody, welcome to the final part of my coverage of Lama 2020. This is all of the implements. So we start here with Marshall and their range of trailers, uh, side discharge muck spreaders and also flatbeds. Nice shiny flatbed. And also as well a smaller dump trailer. We've also got some Chieftain trailers here as, as well. So you've got a flatbed there and also another dump trailer. Now this is a three axle flatbed. So it can uh, carry some serious weight on it. Such as diggers. <clears throat> also here we have Ovlac which is a Spanish soil working equipment manufacturer with their range of five furrow plows and also some cultivators. Garford also made an appearance as well with their root crop harvesting machines. So as you can see a really good demonstration here of how it can easily harvest five rows at a time. Missouri, we're also here as well with a pro-till cedar. Now these are actually built in Great Britain, which is interesting considering it's a brand that I've never heard of or in actual fact seen on my travels. Next we've got some Stuart trailers. Again, another company that has decided to put a dump trailer on the back of a flatbed. I mean, it saves space I suppose anyway. Um, yeah, as you can see, Stuart here in their dark blue. They also had a standard grain trailer here. 16 tons, I believe, there. Also, as well, we've got Landquip with some of their trailed sprayers. So, you've got their in track sprayers there. And also as well some of their rear mounted sprayers which is certainly a good idea particularly if you've got a JCB or an MB trap they will fit on quite nicely they also have their own range of cultivators as well here with a disc cultivator Also as well, Archizan with their legendary bale stacker here, which is known around the world. They only specialise in bale equipment. This has state-of-the-art technology to easily be able to lift 16 bales. Fleagal as well, with quite a high-sided grain trailer here. with its very own walking floor. Rido as well, now they don't just do their own self-propelled slurry equipment, they also have their own drills. There's the 229.07 drill for grains. Herbs as well with their very own Agri Crusher, which is very, very useful for doing things like driveways, that kind of thing. And also, again, another company that has decided to put a dump trailer on top of their flatbed, which I think is a very, very good idea. Hardox as well, with, with again, another dump trailer 
on top of a flatbed. Teagle were also here with their fertilizer equipment. So they've got a muck spreader back there and also a rear mounted fertilizer spreader. Also, as well, a straw blower there as well. And a side flail mower. There's their straw blower, and that's how the straw blower inside works. Another very good demonstration. Now we've got SIP as well with their grass cutting technology. So their butterfly mowers and singular mowers as well, and also a hay turner there. So yeah, these are their butterfly mowers. Also got a conveyor belt swaffer here. Which makes the swath nice and neat. Also, one of their big four rake rowers here. These really are massive machines. They're also quite long, so I reckon that they will be difficult to transport down the road. So now we've got Crone with some uh, rather large machines here. We've got the Crone Primos, which is a groundbreaking piece of technology. Now this is actually a pallet harvester, which is uh, it, one of the first in the world. Now this isn't all that Crone had at the show, they also had their well-known Big Pack Baler. Also showing off their own collection system, which is attached to the rear of their baler. Also some of their round balers, forage wagons, plenty of kit on show here. State of the art loading wagons, as you can see, all computer controlled. There's also the collector inside as well. Also, Crone's own uni wrap baler. which obviously creates its own bales and then wraps them and neatly deposits them in the field. The F125 there, round baler. So some of their grass rakes here, again another four rower rake they have there. That's the crone swadro, also a hay turner.
and some side and butterfly mothers. So that's what the mothers look like inside. As you can see, the front of the butterfly mower showing how it can cope with steep gradients, which is useful for farmers who are in the hills. There's some roll force equipment was also at the show, an animal trailer and also a muck spreader. Not many animal trainers actually at the show. Right now we move on to another big brand, Vadastad. Now this is one of their corn drillers. And uh, also some root crops. The very well known Vadastad Rapid for grain drilling and OSR, things like that. Some range of stole front loaders here. Also some Vicar drills on show here. Again, 10 meter drills, knuckling as well. With their grain drill. Around the back here was a cultivator with a fertilizer tank on the back. I believe that this can also plant seed as well. Downs range here with a potato or sugar beet conveyor belt, complete with its own conveyor belt for loading as well. Sumo are also here with some of their cultivations. Again, breakers with uh, fertilizer tanks on the back is obviously very very useful to reduce soil compaction. Dalbo as well with a number of rollers and they also have some cultivators as well. One of the leading trailer brands as well Bailey were also here showing off actually a, quite a large amount of equipment some of their 18 ton grain trailers also one with the silage sides as well also a Bailey tanker as well so water tanking or slurry I wouldn't actually mind seeing one of those this year. Strong, sturdy hydraulic arms there to lift the weight that's in the trailer. Weaving as well with some of their, I must say, excellent drills. These are direct drills mainly. Obviously the best thing that direct drills at the moment is OSR. Some of their slightly smaller drills as well.
Again, Weaving have their own cultivator range. Also Mia as well with their four meter breaker. Also a selection of Dale drills here as well and some quirky front loaders. And also a square or roundabout handler there. NC will set the show with a slurry water tanker. One of their tippers as well. Another brand deciding to stack their dump trailer on top of their flatbed trailer. TWB with some cultivators and breakers. I must say this one in front of us is kind of a case quad track kind of machine. TWB Duffin. So you've got prongs on the front and discs at the back to finish it all off. AH Engineering, a very, very popular brand around here in Essex. With some of their muck spreaders. Pro Forge as well. Now they do cultivators and uh, also some trailers. As you can see, some disc cultivators there. And a rather interesting looking grain trailer, orange being my favourite colour. Bunning as well, again one of the most well known muck spreader companies with their 18 tonne muck spreaders, HFWB rollers as well, most suitable for grass rolling, HM as well with their dump trailer and also again another tanker which could be used for water or slurry. And also one of their grain trailers there in the background as well. Rock as well with some of their grass rowing equipment. Also BL with their V Mix mixer wagon. Irrigation equipment here, Burr with their Rainstar irrigation machine. Also here with some PUDB slurry driven wires. Also I've got some Scots equipment here, mowers, things like that. Also here with some standing uh, equipment, so this here is a D-Stoner. Now I actually put a throwback up of one of these, just over Christmas actually. We've also got our Pego with drills, breakers, that kind of thing. Yeah, they produce a good range of drills particularly for root crops, that kind of thing. And they also have their own mowers as well. They also have their own power harrow here. Right, moving on, we also have some West spreaders. That is a side discharge spreader. Then we've got an another West flatbed here. And finally, something a little bit different. They've actually put a muck spreader on the back of their flatbed. Uh, 
Gutler equipment also here as well. Again, they have a range of cultivators, drills, and McHale had a lot of equipment here as well, so we're going to have a little look around some of that. So here we've got a square barrel wrapper. The high speed 998. They also had some round balers and some dairy equipment on show, in particular a large amount of straw blowers. McHale Butterfly Mowers here as well, the F3100 Pro Glide again, built for tackling some of those steep hills and uneven gradients. Some grass rakes here as well, just a double rake here. They also have their own range of silage bell attachments. Also had a range of round barrel wrappers at Lama. Mal 1 were also here. Now you could confuse this quite easily with McHale, but no, they are a different brand. You've got a trailed mower there. And also a hay turner as well. Right, moving on, on the back of this fent was a trailed fent rogator sprayer. Fent also had a large quadruple rower, a wild Georgian Liz Saunders there as well. Fent also have their own all in one round barrel wrapper and a forage wagon as well. And also their own range of mowers. Grimmy as well with some of their potato equipment. Potato harvesters. Potato choppers there as well. And also a potato planter. Bell Baron as well. Heaver with some of their cultivators. Stratman as well with their own mixer wagon and also as well their own loading wagon which are both quite big machines by themselves. Richard Weston with their own muck spreaders, one in black there and also in their standard yellow livery. 
but this FB S16 is a big monster. And finally, Larrington as well. Now they had some decent trailers here. Grain trailers. Also one in orange at the back there. Which certainly sparked some interest. And yeah, with that, that's just about it. That wraps up Lama 2020. Hopefully you have all enjoyed. If you have, make sure to hit the like button um, for more. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more from me, the Farm One Two Three. I do hope that you've enjoyed the series. You can also check out the two previous parts on end screens here, and uh, yeah, make sure to let me know any feedback that you may have. And until next time. Thank you ever so much for watching the series, and uh, I'll hopefully see you, if not before, for next year's Lama. Have a good one.